Well, it's game two against the budget roadies here in the Electro Sports Baseball League with Bulldozer Power. Cindy Vapid has got a bit of a confidence knock going on. Uh, we've taken Steve Morrie out of the lineup because he's just got not getting any better. And uh, rather than ominous Bob, we've put in Big Des Eyeliner to, uh, to see if he can come up with a big result. Uh, we lost the first game, which wasn't at all desirable. Uh, and therefore, we're going to try and turn this one around. We've got, we've got to get this series back on track. Cindy wastes absolutely no time, and that's probably her confidence sorted out there as she gets a double from the very first pitch of the game. That's the ticket. Here's Kojak Mister on. Yeah, I wasn't. I was going to let that ball go, you know, but uh, I saw it. It was coming, and I went, I'll have that. Thank you. Uh, Kojak, a little late on the swing. That could have been a good one, but it wasn't. All right. Okay. Settle in. Settle in. Come on, team. Settle in. We've got a new controller here. We've got to get used to it and uh, all of that kind of business. Kojak there, flapping away at another one. It's all good. Uh, every pitch we soak up now is a pitch we don't have to soak up later. No, oh, exactly. Kojak swinging at all kinds of rubbish. Uh, she advances Cindy to third, which is a good thing, but uh, doesn't get herself any favours in the process. Here's uh, Ulysses' failure. Uh, he, he couldn't dig the team out last week, um, but he, uh, the, he he's a good player. Yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe a little erratic. Steve Satan, pitching for the roadies, is, uh, is doing a pretty good job of getting all of these on target, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, are we going to get home? Yes. Failure bats in the run. We'll call that a sacrifice run, that one. Yeah, yeah that was that was all deliberate. Uh, Jack Mercury up next with two outs. And he uh, he sends a bouncer out to centre field. Oh, good work there, that man. Good work. Okay, all right. Well, we're not done yet. Here's Zoltan. And uh, he's, uh, he's waiting for something that he can be impressive with. Yeah. You're expecting Mercury to try and steal something? I wouldn't count on it. No, 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 no. Zoltan only makes it as far as the second baseman and he's out retiring the side and once again Bulldozer Power score in their opening drive. Drive? Possession. Yeah, all of that. All of that. I've been playing the wrong game too much lately. Uh, here's Kiki Tyrant getting the, uh, getting the lead off uh, this time around. That goes only as far as Kojak. So she tried to send in, it didn't work for her. No. Alright, here's Stella Doit. Uh, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I can't remember who had a good and who had a bad game in the last one. We'll say that they all had a good game in some fashion or another, given that they came all, like, away with the win uh, when we were expecting to walk it. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just take what we get from this. Come on, Des, put them away. That's it, big Des. There it is. And whereas Des missed out on strikeouts last time around, he's got one this time well the, I'm sorry the entire team there was, was a no strikeout scenario uh, that one's a good hit though and uh, that'll be a base run two outs for budget and uh, well, are they going to get from the, Susan Turbine she's uh, got 414 as a batting average which is pretty strong uh, but I don't know how much she's actually been batting so it might not be that strong it might just be that she's she's been fortunate Caps lock there, tags the runner to second, and that's the side of the tide. One to nothing, bulldozer power at the end of the first inning. And it will be Julius Hardware up next. Hey, Julius Hardware. Yay, goody, 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 good, good, goody, goody, good, good. Come on in, Julie. Disappoint us all, why don't you? All right, okay, nice hit, Jules. Yeah, yeah, no, no, well done. Yeah, that's more than morrie has been able to do in about four games. So, uh, Hardware there getting on base. Here's uh, Rudy Katzlock. And uh, he's, he's not that impressive, but he has been adequate. Let's put it that way. Our, our starting shortstop uh, coming in for crampons, of course, who I think we, we were just keeping for, his, uh, for the number of shirts that he was selling every week. Uh, well, I mean, uh, Katzlock there getting himself a base hit. And uh, that will give us Lynn Mephisto. Who will endeavour to do something as we have runners on first and second with no outs. Lynn, it's a good one. And uh, we're going for home. Oh, no chance. Out. Number one. Hardware there. 
running in a very sluggish fashion. Here is Des Eyeliner. I predict nothing. Des, you got it? No, he hasn't got it. He hasn't got it. Des hasn't got it. No, not this time. Okay, we have seen Des hit one over the fence in the past, and it's always nice to see, but yes, not today. All right, back round to Cindy. Uh, two runners on base, two outs. Oh, that was a lovely pitch, uh, but just a smidge too late on the swing. Uh, ball one. Okay. Inside. Yeah, Cindy's not uh, not been fooled by any of this tomfoolery that is going on. And a nice hit from Cindy, and that'll load the bases up, leaving Kojak with the opportunity to uh, push us further into the lead. Uh, we have wasted opportunities in this inning. Let's not make any mistake about that. Uh, but Kojak could uh, make all the difference here with one good hit. One good hit. Just one. Ball one, strike one. There's ball two. All right, keep them coming there, Steve. No good. And uh, Kojak's out, as is the whole team. What a shame. Uh, yep, no, just just what a shame. I mean, had Hardware not gone for it there on the uh, on the play before, that would have been at least one run. Uh, who are we looking at? It's Big Rod McGurk. He didn't do very much against us last week. Oh, I know. That's, that'll be sad for him. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, I've been very, very sad for, for McGurk, but uh, I'm over it. That one's only going as far as Cindy. She'll throw the first. Go away. Next up is Prawn Jock. Yes, the left fielder. Uh, he's not got a lot of power behind his swing, but he has got a swing behind his power, and therefore, there. Uh, that one's going as far as Mercury, who will throw the first. Out number two. This is good, efficient play so far. If we can keep it up, we'll do well. If we can't keep it up, well, then it, it won't be quite so good. Um, Des being incredibly efficient pitching-wise. Uh, this is only his uh, 13th pitch of the game. Come on, Jack. Get it over. Out number three. Two innings, 13 pitches. I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, and that's that's good, given the, uh, the pressure on Bulldozer Power when it comes to relieving pitchers at the moment. That's very helpful. Okay, into the third inning now, and it is Ulysses' failure. He's got a run batted in, but of course he uh, he wrote, was run out in the process uh, from the first inning. And ball one. Yep, next. Popped it up. Come on, son. You've got to do better than that. He's going to be caught. All right, out number one. Here's the boy Mercury with that uncanny head wiggle of his. Uh, well, I, you know, everyone's got their own unique style, and he nutmegs the pitcher, and he'll make his way out to first base. Lovely work. It's, uh, it's good to see. Good to see. All right, here's Zoltan. Couldn't do anything with his first at bat, but uh, you never know when Zoltan's going to go on a hot streak. Not today. No. No, no. He's, uh, he's gone on a being caught out in a uh, right field streak there. Well, Julius uh, Flaming Hardware is the uh, is the last one up for us now, unless of course he gets on base. I mean, that's the thing. I mean that is that is largely what we ask of our players. That looks pretty good, and Hardware will take his base, giving us runners on first and second. And again, we've got we've we've got good opportunity here, but I can't see us actually capitalising on it. His caps lock caps lock's good enough. Sometimes. Um, no, no, no. We're just not in a good position. Not with two outs. No, no, it's not going to happen. Not unless Caps Lock has a belter, but pff, who knows? Yeah. I mean, now would be the time to start doing some of that stealing you were learning how to. Never mind. And that's out number three. Well, we, we're getting the hits in, and that's that's something that we didn't accomplish quite so well last week. So, uh, you know, that that's something to take some solace in there. Uh, ball one. Come on, Des. Keep him on target, man. That one's only going as far as Cindy, and she'll throw that one out. Get off my field. Well, get off your field. Here's the pitcher, Steve Satan. Uh, let's keep this one basic. Strike one. 100 mile an hour fastball there from Des. Strike two. Uh, just put another fastball in. I mean, if he hits it, it's not going very far. 
Strikes him out. Number two of the day for Dez. Loving it, Dez. Loving it. You just keep doing what you're doing, baby. It's all good. 19 pitches for Dez Eyeliner so far in the game as we, uh, as we approach the tail end of the third inning. He's having an absolutely storming time on the, on the uh, mound. Uh, but, you know, that could change at any moment. Probably will now that I've said it. But that's why I said it, see? I'm trying to inject some drama. Cindy with the catch. And the team's retired. Three innings down. And it's uh, one to nothing in favour of Bulldozer Power. Lynn Mephisto next up to bat. All right, OK. Well, tail enders, you've just got to play them. No, Lynn. No. No, not one of those. That was too high. Or that one, strictly speaking. Yeah, she's gone. Yeah, no, nothing good doing for Lynn. Uh, here's Dez. Come on, Dez. Nice base hit for Dez, please. No, he's, he's swinging for the fence again, and he hasn't got the range. All right. I mean, he put it into orbit, but he's out as well, and that'll give us uh, one more look at Cindy Vapid, as once again, we're looking at two outs. Giving up these outs far too cheaply. Well, Cindy's back, everybody. Yep. As a Cindy Vapid base hit for you. I mean, if anything, it might have been better for her to just sacrifice but uh, and uh, get the inning over with to save our, uh, our the top end of our batting order. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know either. Okay, well, Cindy moves early, which was fine, uh, were it not for the fact that Kojak's out again. Yeah. Cindy's fast enough. She could have just stolen that. She just we could have taken the pitch and just stolen the base. Got to get got to get better at that. That's a that's an area of skill that we need to develop still. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Uh, we're looking at Stella Doit here, who's uh, uh, batting. Yeah. Oh, that one uh, narrowly misses a dangerous part of Des, and we really can't afford to have any more pitchers injured. Uh, Stella getting herself a base hit. It's Tar Tarquinius Bangfish. Did he have a game last week? Uh, I, he played last week. I, whether or not he played well, I couldn't tell you. But uh, he was in the lineup. Well, he's uh, he's done well here. Oh, drifting wide at the foul line, but that one was gone the distance and then some. Uh, but it doesn't count because uh, it was a foul. Oh, and he's he's out. Look, we we struck him out. Oh, he was feeling so confident as well. What a shame. Susie, Susan, Susan, turbine, turbine. Uh, now. Can't hit that. And everyone's having trouble hitting Dez's stuff at the moment. Long may it laugh. <laughs> Flaming it. That's another one. Come on, Desmond. Yeah, put one in about there. Uh, that one's gone skywards. Caps Lock's calling for it. And you're out. Okay. Uh, with two outs, uh, Big Rob McGurk now up to bat. And his batting average has dropped to uh, below 200 uh, for the season. I'm sure he'll be happy about that. Okay, well, he got that one away. And uh, he'll get himself on base as a reward. Because that's in the rule book. That's allowed. Prawn jock now. And uh, has he got a prawn in his jock? Hard to say. Des, you could have got a glove on that, man. Oh, bases are actually loaded at the moment. Zoltan with another one of those rocket throws from center field. This is actually quite a dangerous position. We've got uh, Mary Decimal, who likes the high pitches. So let's keep these low. And that one went foul, and she broke her bat. Oh, I hope it wasn't Wonder Boy. Yeah, okay. All right, come on, come on, come on. Well, if it was Wonder Boy, that would be in the stands about now. Jack Mercury gets it done. What a save. What a save. Good innings there. Uh, gave up the hits, but didn't give up a run. Well, that's close stuff, and, uh, and we're around to failure once more, who's uh, so far failed to get on base. Not this time, though. No, oh, a nice uh, a nice bubbling uh, bouncer out to left field, and uh, and he'll find himself basewood. That is uh, Jack Mercury. That's his name. He plays baseball, and uh, his name's Jack Mercury. That looks solid, and it is. Runners now one and two. We like it. We like it. Do we like it? We do like it. Here's Zoltan. Okay. All right. Come on, Zoltan. Now's your time to shine, son. Now's your time. 
That's not the way to play the game, Zoltan. Well, we've got failure over onto third, which is a good place to be. Uh, his uh, is Julie. He's had two for two so far today, but he did run himself out last time around because he's so slow, and that's not going to work either. Ah, we've got to start scoring some of these. Okay, you don't have to swing at the first pitch. It's not the point that it looked like a good pitch. It's just tush. Yeah, well, I mean, look, here's the thing. You're leaning very heavily on Dez now. And while Dez is having a good game, that's not the point. Great pitching. Great pitching. And another strikeout for Dez Eyline. Uh, back round to Steve Satan. Uh, who, uh, you know, we, we don't need to do anything too complicated here. He is, after all, the pitcher. Yeah, I know, but he plays baseball quite regularly, and therefore, you know, there's every chance that he could have a good day. Not like this, isn't it? All right. Kiki Tyrant, 0 for 2 today. All right, she's seen our fastball on first. Yeah, try the slider. Okay. There's number one. All right. Come on, Des. Right, not quite. Des is uh, 45 pitches deep into his day. And uh, where are we? The bottom of the fifth. So he's, he has had a very efficient time so far. All right, yeah. But, you know, he's, he's going to start flagging. <laughs> there it is, another strikeout. Des Eyeliner. My goodness me, he's a monster. And we're, we're at the back end of the order. Heck, this is, uh, this is one of the tightest games I think I've played. And uh, a nice hit there uh, from Caps Lock will get him onto first base. Here's, uh, here's Mephisto. Yeah. Okay, come on, Lynn. Just get a base hit. Just get a base hit. That's really all we need. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'd, uh, for all the bigging up of Des Island that I've been doing, Steve Satan is also... Only 50 and change pitches deep into his uh, into his arm. So, uh, nah, he's going to be out. Uh-oh, could be a double. Oh, tagged the runner. Oh, I've never seen that before. That was great. But, uh, well, I mean, horrific, but great. Okay, yeah, double play there. Oh, no. Well, here is Des. Des, don't get hit by the pitch, okay? All right? All right, you're allowed to be tired at the end of the game. Just don't get hit by the pitch, Des. Des, don't get hit by the pitch. In fact, Des, just keep standing here. Alright, stop standing here, Des. If this is legit, go for it. It's not legit. De no, Des, that wasn't legit. That was too high. That doesn't really matter. You, you took five pitches off him, so it's all good. Uh, okay, into the bottom of the sixth now, and it's... Uh, who's it? Stella Deutz. Got herself a base hit last time around. <laughs> Wanged that one well and proper into the dugout. Well, uh, that'll wake him up. Kojak with an attempted dive, but nothing doing, and Stella gets another base hit. All right, come on, team. Let's uh, let's not make any mistakes now. And uh, they're taking out Doit and bringing in Brad Adidas instead. Okay, that's, a, well, that's an interesting substitution. Maybe he's a stealer. Maybe he is. We'll see if that helps him. Des being a little bit more erratic with his pitching now, but he's he's still looking fairly fresh. Fairly fresh, you understand? I mean, I wouldn't say he was daisy-like or anything like that. Strike two. Nice. Same again, please, Desmond. Good pitch. No. No. They're fouling these off, and that's no good. All right. That's better. That one's gone skywards. Mephisto's there. And there's the catch. Let's make the throw to second. All right, one out. All right, a solid play here, and uh, and we can we can tidy this one up. Caps lock to second. Oh, flipping it, Cindy. I I don't know to do. Cindy's a reliable flipping player. That was a double play, Cind. Cind, that was a double play. That was a double play, and instead we're now looking at runners on one and two with only one out. Mephisto coming in for the catch. Has it. That's good. Whew. Unnecessary excitement. And we don't want any unnecessary excitement. We only want the kind of excitement that is necessary. Which is the kind of excitement that comes from us playing well. Alright, there we go. Come on, Devlin. Come on. That's it. Okay, yep. Yeah, let them foul off too, but then put them away. 
60th pitch of the day for Dez. Popped up. That one's coming off the fence. Straight down the side there. Come on, Julie. Nope. Okay, all right. Okay, come on. Just, just sink him. Just get him done. All right, ball one. All right. Come on, Des. Des is still looking pretty fresh right now. He can't get to it. Cindy can't get to it. Oh, flipping it. Zoltan, cannon arm. Zoltan's off target, and that will be a run tying the game up. <sighs> Making that substitution actually look pretty sensible. Uh, and they're taking out Mary Decimal now, bringing in Don Garcia Funk as a pinch hitter. All right, okay. Well, all right. they're starting to think uh, Chicha changes uh, in order to uh, score some runs. All right, all right, yeah, come on. I don't know if they've got the measure of Dez. It doesn't feel like they do. Still feels like Dez is pretty sharp. Failure. Thank you. What? Why did you miss that? They're going to score all the runs, you flipping clown. And Ulysses' failure is a flipping clown. That was, e that was an easy out. That was an e what are you talking? What are you? What? I don't understand. I don't understand how he missed that catch. All right, just make it easy. There you go. Ah, oh, no. All right, well, the side's retired, but not before they rock up three runs. Uh, any one of which... None of, none of them. They didn't deserve any of them. Brad Adidas is back out. They're bringing in Cherry Margarita at catcher. And uh, meanwhile, Don Garcia Funk's gone as well, and they're bringing in Fink Conduct. Uh, they're going through their... Uh, they're backups here at, at quite a rate. Uh, Cindy's now tense, despite having batted reasonably well. That fluffed bit of fielding there has done her no favours in the slightest. She gets back on base again. Okay, it's Kojak. Uh, Satan's now 63 deep in his pitches, and uh, and that sh must surely mean that we can uh, we can take advantage of a weakened arm, a pitch out no less. Oh gracious! Cindy's going for it. Has it. Nice one, Cind. Uh, one of the two players on the team who've got the legs to actually steal. And uh, that's a walk for Kojak. <laughs> Rendering that steal arguably worthless. But hey, that's a, it's a, that's a stat. Uh, right, it's failure. Now's a good time for you to light him up there, big man. Come on. All right, strike one. All right, come on, then. Come on. That's not it. Okay, well, okay, we only got one out there, leaving us runners at the corners, and Jack Mercury, who has three singles so far today, could bring us back into this one with a single. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a bad hit. That's a bad hit. I don't think Mercury's fast enough to beat the fielder. No. Ah, oh, Mercy! How many times are we going to be denied an easy score? Uh, I can't even fault the play of the team particularly. Uh, defensively, we've had a couple of fouls up, foul ups, but uh, uh, but overall, we've we've not been bad. Um, it's just we can't get a, a consistent run together, and that looks dangerous because it is. And this one's getting away from us. A home run there for Steve Satan. St the flipping picture. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, goodness me. <sighs> okay. All right, Des, are you still into this game or what? I'd like you to get through to the end of this inning and then we can bring Disneyland in to finish. All right. Uh, out one. Okay, yeah. Well, is the, uh, the changing catcher. This is uh, Margarita, who hasn't seen any pitches yet this season. Well, she's seeing some now. Uh, she's not seeing... Uh, the the cream of Dez's crop, uh, but she's seeing certainly some of the weeds that he's plucked out along the way. All right, come on, Dez. You've still got this, man. Come on, Dez. In your own time. There you go. Out number two. Here's Bangfish uh, batting a third uh, for his uh, at-bats today. Merkers. Good job. Out number three. All right, well, another run batted in. Bulldozer power now trailing by three. Uh, two innings left to play. 
and we're looking at Zoltan to, to try and turn this around for us a little bit. Uh, even a, a big fat Zoltan homer here would be uh, a good place to start, but he, you know, he gets a base hit and it's okay. But we cannot afford to uh, to continue throwing away runners who are in scoring position. Uh, we've had at least three of those. This game should be tied by all accounts. By uh, I don't know by by any in any justice. Were there any justice, this would be a tied game. All right, Satan now in the 70s for pitches. He's going to be tired. Julie flaps at a high one. Steve, come back. Zolt Zoltan, Zoltan, come back. I was giving you the come back instruction and you ignored me. All right, well, that was rubbish. Um, right, two outs there, pointlessly. Zoltan ignoring the would you kindly run back to base and uh, this just leaves us with caps lock to try and come there you go there another nice caps lock single there and uh, had that last play not been a complete disaster we'd be looking at something here now but now we're not looking at something we're looking at Lynn Mephisto to try and pull something out the bag what's it going to be Lynn Lynn what's it going to be alright ball two okay Ball three. Lynn, stand your ground. <laughs> that was lovely. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. Get the walk. Come on. Strike two. Good enough. Lynn there, waiting it out and uh, and taking and taking the base hit. There's two outs, two on base. And it's uh, Dez up to bat. And he's getting to sit down because we'll, we'll bring in a substitute for him. Uh, what do you think? Hammock time? I think it could well be. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe? Mullo? Mullo's got everything that counts here. I mean, Hammock's got slightly better power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, Mullo is more reliable at actually getting a hit. All right. Well, all we need is a hit. And then we need Cindy to get a hit. Okay. Okay. Maybe you're asking for too much there. Uh, Satan definitely showing signs of being tired. Uh-oh, I left that late. Oh, you absolute clown. No, that one, I'll take that one. That was on me. That one, that one, all me, that one. Yeah, okay. Disneyland's coming into pitch, and we've thrown this away. We've just thrown it away. We had this game completely locked up. Um, uh, defensively, playing incredibly well, but just such poor play when you've actually got uh, runners at bases. Disneyland making a quick statement move with his first pitches uh, getting a strike out is McGurk okay all right Mark uh, Mark's already in a good mood so uh, let's uh, let's keep the pressure on yeah uh, nope that'll be a that'll be a base hit Zoltan whips it over to Cindy Cindy of course who who had the uh, the opportunity to make a double play earlier on and drop the ball. Dropped the ball. I know. That one's gone to Kojak. Take the, take the front runners, uh, Koj. Yeah, I mean, if we were only going to get one out, let's get the one who's furthest ahead. Uh, here's Fink Conduct, centre fielder. All right, two outs now. Uh, Disneyland doing well so far. Not giving up anything stupid. Strike two. All right, change up. Yeah, bring it. All right, here we go. Bringing it. There it is. Two strikeouts from his first three at bats there for Mark Disneyland, and he's up to bat next. Okay. Really? How is he up to bat? We subbed out. Uh, we subbed out Dez. I think that was a while ago. Now, oh, nice hit. Ah, uh, Dizzo there. I mean, that's almost good enough for a double, but we're not going to risk it. Not the way we're playing. That would have been an easy double. Okay, fine. Um, no, no, no. We're just... No. Four for four for Cindy Vapid. Steve Satan, they've had enough of him now, and uh, they're bringing in Shirley Juice to try and put the game away. Uh, she's fresh, and she's pretty capable, based on the statistical things on her statistical card sheet thing. What are you doing, Cindy? You knew that was bad. You swung at it and know it was bad. Just. Alright, well, this is the ninth inning, and uh, 
Down to two more outs. And that's flaming glorious. There from Kojak Nisteron, who's going to try and beat the ball and doesn't. Again. They're just getting grit. It's either greed or desperation here uh, that's causing the problems. Here's failure. We've got a runner in scoring position. Failure's going to knock that one over the fence, which would have tied the game. Yeah. But instead, we're still short. Ah. Yep. Yeah. No, well done. No, no, no. Failure there getting it done. I had a feeling he was about due. Uh, but it's got to... We've got to get one more run. Here's Jack Mercury. All right. Okay. Ball one. Yep. All right. So Mercury's got, what, hardware coming up after him. Yes. It might be that might be academic. No, Mercury's done enough there. He's going to get on base. All right, okay. All right, we're not there yet. Oh no, it's Zoltan. Okay. All right, big lads, come on, come on, show us, show us the the Zoltan golden swing. Uh, and don't forget, Zoltan, I think hit three home runs last week. Did he? You sure? I'm not 100 percent sure. He hit a couple, certainly. All right. Uh, okay. All right, we're not stealing nothing. I'm not feeling that dubious, especially since my judgment appears to be completely off at the moment. Zoltan with a base hit. Okay, all right. All right, two outs, two on base. And uh, Julius Hardware could ruin it for all of us or, uh, or could once again confound his critics. Confounding his critics, it's Julie Hardware. We're going for it. And there's the tying run. Julius Hardware batting in the tying run. We've still got two runners on base. And uh, here's Rudy Capslock, who has had a respectable day batting. Oh, man. Woo! Gently does it. Gently does it. Don't force it. If we go to extra innings, it's fine, because Disneyland's still fresh. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Okay, well, we did just enough there. And uh, the game is not over. And uh, Bulldozer Power pulling that fork out of the fire and jabbing it into the air in a victory way. But it only takes one run and uh, and the roadies can lock this one up. I don't think that was inside. I thought that was on target. I thought that was pretty sad. That's inside. But he swung at that one, so I, I guess we're all even then. Uh, two strikes. That one could be anywhere. Okay, ball two. Come on, Mark. Don't try and be flash. Just try and uh, do your job. There we go. Out number one. What a way. Here's, uh, here's the pitcher. They're keeping her in. Okay, all right. Clearly uh, clearly thinking that they can make this happen. Uh, even with... Um, all right. No, they, uh, their, their uh, ballpen is probably uh, not, as, not as wonderful as it might be. Strike two. Come on, Mark. Get, if you can get another strike out here, that'd be glorious. There it is. All right, two outs. Kiki Tyrant up to bat. She's 0 for 4, which means this is going to be a home run. All right, let's put one, let's put one somewhere else for a change. Or not. All right, come on, Mark. I mean, this is the third straight game that we've had uh, that we've had Disneyland as a relieving pitcher, uh, and therefore his fatigue is going to be slightly higher than you would expect at this stage. Uh, but until we get the conservative back, another strikeout. Good work, and we're going to extra innings. All right. Well, we're looking at Lin Mephisto to start with, and uh, well, we're, we've not got our strongest uh, strongest section of the batting order here. Nice hit from Lynn. One on base. Don't do anything stupid. All right. Okay. Here is Disneyland. Soak them up, man. Just soak them up. All right. Unless one feels really good like that one. Okay. There we go. Runners on one and two. This is good. All right. Here's Cindy. A double, three singles for her today. Uh... Yeah, one one bad moment. That's the thing that we remember. Oh no, this is going to be a double, but we have got a runner on third. Oh, it's only a single. 
Marcus Cindy, of course, moves like Grease Lightning. All right, Kojak. Just a base hit. That's all we need. Just a base hit. Just a base hit. Base hit will do. Just it. Yep, hit it far enough to get on base. No! Goes for the pop-up. Okay, and, and, no, no! And you're all just flipping lucky! Oh, <laughs> what happened to not making stupid decisions there as we steal home? Um, well, I'm not so much steal home, but wait until after the catch to make a run. But a, a, a fielding error from the res relieving catcher uh, was enough to, uh, to turn that around. Am I keeping you on the edge of your seat or what? There you go. It's Ulysses' failure, by the way. Yeah. Okay, two outs now. Failure's not going to get anything off that one. Uh, but that's okay. All right, we're up by one. One good performance here, and uh, we can put this one to bed. Uh, it's Cherry Margarita, who uh, just let in the go-ahead run. <laughs> yeah, I know, but, you know, that might have angered her. It hasn't. Not off that one, anyway. All right, okay, there you go. Another wonky pitch for you. Nope, I don't like that one. All right, try this one. Okay, Mercury's going to nab that. Don't drop it. Thank you. Kojak, an easy take at first. And that's two outs. Bangfish up to bat next. And uh, the pressure is on. No. The pressure is still on. Yeah. You've got to count on him getting a hit here. Don't try and get him at the plate. Just play the game. Just play the game. And uh, and with a bit of luck, uh, we'll, we'll do enough. No, that's all right. Cindy, chance to make amends. What a relief. Out number two. All right. I thought that was out number three. It wasn't. It was only out number two. Okay. All right. Susan Turbine. Next up. I, don't, I thought that was out number three. Yeah, I know. That was... You were at risk there of a little bit of early celebration. What was, wasn't I? Yeah. Sultan. Can't get it. Oh, and then can't see it. Zoltan's... Uh, needs to go to Specsavers. And that's a double. Just at the time when we don't need it. Here's McGurk, who I've been critical of all game. I'm just putting that out there. In oh, that's a high pitch. He loves them. Failure. <laughs> mm. Oh, dear. Former Bulldozer Power player, Big Rod McGurk there with a home run to uh, put this one away. Can't complain. No. We had every chance to win this and uh, and blew it on numerous... 24 hits, play 11. And uh, and just... Combination of bad decisions and bad luck there making uh, making for a really fascinating game. Um, I can't... I can't complain about it. Yeah. What great pitching performances, though. Uh, Des Island, a five strikeouts. Mark Disneyland, four strikeouts. Uh, remarkably good performance there from our uh, our pitchers. But we're down two to nothing in the series, uh, and that's unhelpful. McGurk there getting the star player of the day ahead of Ulysses Failure and Des Eyeliner. Well, we've got 14 games to catch up on, so let's start catching up on them. First up, it's the three and five transport team against the All Stars, who are five and three. Chet Vacant pitching for the All Stars, uh, and it's Peninsula Transport who uh, who get first blood, but the uh, Lingo Blend team come back for a win, which is not ideal given that there are divisional rivals, our main divisional rivals. Stardizer Human Resources are playing the Grunt Auto Group. Stardizer are currently six and two, and therefore challenging for a bit of postseason action. Uh, they need the win, I did, but they didn't get it. The, the auto group there, managing to snag one. Grazer Ridge are taking on the Colonel Space Agency. Uh, look for Nova Wild on the Grazer Ridge team uh, as their lead-off batter. And Grazer Ridge have put up how many? Wait for it. 12. That's a good win. Colonel Space Agency looking quite poor by comparison. The Sea Raiders are taking on the Chroniclers. Uh, you've got John Baritone pitching for the Sea Raiders, uh, facing off against Muluab the Verbose uh, for Erg Melonflex. Uh, and, uh, and it's a close game, but the Chroniclers come away with it and making the uh, sloganated division all square on four and five. Quite the powerhouse of a division there, where nobody's got a record over 0.5. Uh, Sunshine Funbus taking on the X-Men and win that one. 
Uh, Colonel School have yet to win a game, and now they're taking on the 7-2 and two Nomads. Do we like their chances? Well, they're off to a 6 nothing day win, day one. Colonel School win their first game, 6 nothing. Uh, okay, these the, the the fortunes they have turned. The Steganauts are taking on the Miners. It is uh, Arbogast Flares, whose, whose form is off a little bit, pitching for the Steganauts. See if it costs them. Uh, ooh, ooh, gee, ooh, close game, 5-4, to four, final score. Steganauts coming away with the win uh, to take the lead in Sloganator for now. But it depends on who's playing next. Well, here they are. It's Failurewood Hills, everybody. And they're playing against Sportsball Union. You've got Mike Grenade pitching for Failure Woods, uh, Calippo Flavorings and Jess Hurts, the uh, uh, the uh, the leading batters there on that team. Lead-off batters, I should say. It just lists the top three. It just, uh, the first three in the order. That's all it's doing. That's all it's doing. It's, that's the only thing it's doing. Port Mi I couldn't tell you who won. I wasn't paying attention. Um, Port Miggins Pirates are playing in Grunt Auto Group. Uh, Grunt Auto Group could do with following up their last win with another one, but they're not going to get it as the Pirates thrash them 16-1. to the All-Stars are back in action again now against Colonel Space Agency. Uh, the All-Stars are in my division. Danny Cyanide pitching for them. Uh, hopefully we can see a good game from the Space Agency. All right, never mind. Hopefully they didn't get it. Uh, Lingo Blend now on seven wins. Uh, the Medics are taking on the Roadies, and it's a win for the Medics. Okay, I thought we had to play them the, the Roadies again. I mean, it's unlikely, it's unlikely they're going to have a, a game midweek in between, is it? Uh, I would have thought. Um, I, I didn't see that last game at all. Sorry, I, I was busy contemplating life. Uh, the Red Star Pathfinders taking on the Beekeepers. Uh, the Pathfinders currently 4-5. and five. Carlo the Curious is pitching for them. Pip Strobe Light is first in the batting order. Uh, but it is the Beekeepers that do first blood, getting up to five runs, and the Pathfinders can't come back from that, losing 5-2. to two. The Chroniclers and the Minstrels go head-to-head -head as our final game of this uh, of this run. Cruise Control is pitching for the Chroniclers. Yeah, Shamrock Bubblejet leading uh, the, the, uh, the, the batting for the Minstrels. And uh, it is a win for the Minstrels, which gives us the following lineup. Uh, in the Woodchipper division, Port Miggins Pirates are up 8-2 to two, uh, ahead of Stardozer Human Resources. Both teams looking pretty strong right now. Uh, in Bombastic, you've got the Nomads on 7 and 3, with uh, Grazer Ridge in danger of slipping out of contention. Moving into the Fish Tank Division, and you've got the Bumson Medics and Grunt Auto Group tied on 5 and 5. Peninsula Transport still with them just about on 3 and 7. Down into the Battle Plan, and the Lingo Blend All Stars are on 7 and 3. Two games ahead of Bordeaux of Power who have five wins at the moment. But the budget roadies are on three, and I think we can probably count them out, but Bulldozer Power need to turn their season around if they're going to keep up with the All-Stars. Over into Bad Company and the Whoop Whoop Division, Sunshine Fun Bus have seven wins. Our of City X-Men are behind them on six. Mm. In the Sloganator, five and five is the record for the Failure Wood Hills and Steganauts teams. Ergamel uh, Flex are on four and six, uh, but this... That, that division is probably going to come down to the wire. It is the closest in the league. The Zesty division sees the Wretched Minstrels up front with the Bongolia Sea Raiders snapping at their heels. Sportsball Union on two and eight. That's them. I don't I don't see it. I just don't. In the, Finally, in the Colonel Cam division, the Beekeepers are in the lead on six and four, but the Picks Creek Miners, the, that new team, uh, they're not far behind on five and five. Cheerio Inc. aren't out of it either on four and five. For our next game, we will be taking on the completely lacklustre uh, team of Colonel School. We'll probably lose, based on the way we're playing right now. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for watching this one. We'll be back soon with the next game. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.